The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. We are God's and we belong to him. He made us and he provides for all of our needs, needs for our body, our soul, and into eternity. And so we see in today's gospel, our Lord providing for the bodily needs of the people who are there to see him, to hear him, to be healed by him. He provides them with the food, physical sustenance that they need. And it's not by chance that there were seven baskets full of the fragments left over, a significant symbol of the seven sacraments, which provide our spiritual sustenance, what we need for our souls. So God provides for our bodies, our souls in this world by means of the sacraments uh, until he brings us into heaven and we feast upon the vision of himself, the heavenly banquet uh, for which we pray in, today, in the opening prayer of today's Mass. It says, we may, may we be found worthy of the banquet of eternal life and merit to receive heavenly nourishment from his hands. So that is the heavenly banquet which we look forward to. And this is all prophesied in today's first reading by the prophet Isaiah, both in reference to the sacraments but also the heavenly banquet. So the, uh, the prophet Isaiah there in Jerusalem, pointing to Mount Zion, says on this holy mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples. You see, everyone is invited to receive baptism, confirmation, the Eucharist, and all of the rest. A feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy rich food, and pure choice wines. Again, Eucharistic reference. And so that's where the church started, right there in Jerusalem, to spread throughout the world, inviting all people to come in. He will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, right? Everything in the Old Testament is obscure, shadows, and is then replaced by the fullness of the truth when the gospel is preached. And he will destroy death forever, and wipe the tears from all faces. So again, this also refers to the final coming. On this holy mountain, actually above that holy mountain, our Lord will be suspended in the air, and everyone will be gathered in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, which stands between Mount Zion and the Mount of Olives. It's right there, so our Lord's going to be in the air. And he's going to provide the heavenly feast for the elect. He will destroy the veil, even the veil of faith at that point. Everything's going to be put aside, and we are going to see face to face. He will destroy death forever, granting eternal life to the elect. And as he promised in the book of Revelation, wiping the tears from all faces when all of the trials, tribulations, and difficulties and sadness of this life will have passed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.